So you're probably as confused as I was about which printer to buy for your craft room. After doing hours of research and comparing all the different options, I decided to get the Canon Pixma TS9551C. I chose this one because it has a whole bunch of features that I really wanted for my crafting. But I mean, there are a couple of like quite important drawbacks that I will tell you about. I want to share with you why I chose this printer, my experience of using it, and hopefully that will help you make a decision. So there are three main reasons why I chose this printer. Firstly, the fact that it prints borderless up to A3. Secondly, the price. And thirdly, the design. So let's start by talking about the borderless printing up to A3. So amazing. This was kind of the main thing that I was actually looking for in the printer. I am a Cricut crafter um, and so I'm really used to you know working with 12 by 12 cardstock and making things out of that. So I really wanted a printer where I had the option of printing my own cardstock to make things with. And actually the fact that it prints not just 12 by 12 but all the way up to A3 is really cool because then I can make even bigger designs and of course with my Cricut machine I can use my larger 12 by 24 inch mat if I want to cut anything really big. So for me the fact that it has that feature was actually really important and kind of the key selling point for me. The other thing that I'm really excited about now is that Cricut have updated their print and cut so that you can actually print all the way up to an A3 size now and so I'm really excited about the fact that my printer can print up to A3 and I can now print and cut on my Cricut on the same size so I'm just really thrilled that they will work really well together in the same ecosystem and of course the fact that it prints as large as A3 I mean I don't often make things that are you know life size or like really massive but if I decide to go all out for some party decoration or something then it's really cool to have that option that I can print something large and then cut it on the Cricut and turn it into something really very cool. So when I was researching the key thing that I came across that made me hesitate before buying the printer was what I was reading about the print quality. Lots of the reviews mentioned that actually print quality is better with other printers. So this was a serious thing that I had to consider like did I want to take the risk anyway and try out this printer and actually the way that I thought about it is most of these reviews are talking about you know really high quality level of printing and I know that for my use as I've said I'm going to be printing stickers or maybe printing um, some kind of patterned cardstock and turning that into a card an envelope a gift box I'm not actually planning on printing any photos that I've taken I'm not like a hobbyist photographer intending to display them on my walls or even planning to sell my artwork for display so for me I thought okay well it might not be the best quality of printing maybe the images are not quite as crisp as you would get with slightly better printers but I just don't think that for me and the way that I plan on using this printer it's actually that big a deal and in fact in the test prints that I have done I was really thrilled with the results the printer has a whole bunch of patterns as templates inbuilt within it so I thought why don't I try those out and one of them is really great because it's a cool print but it's using loads of different colors and when I printed that on some nice matte photo paper I was so impressed with the result it genuinely looked like I'd gone out to Hobbycraft or Michaels and I and bought it it just didn't look like it was made at home and obviously there are things you can do to improve the print quality so definitely printing on photo paper will make a big difference I've tested out matte photo paper and glossy and they both look really amazing when it came to the glossy photo paper I did need to change the print settings that I use because the first time around I printed it on the cardstock setting weirdly there is no option of printing the inbuilt pattern templates on glossy paper don't ask me why but when I printed it on cardstock setting the colors just came out really pasty and just not very nice at all and when I changed that to the matte setting that I had used to print on the matte paper the colors were fabulous if you compare the two side by side you cannot tell any difference so for sure the print quality will not be good enough for some people who are actually creating artwork that's not what I'm doing and I've really been impressed with the prints that I have done the other thing I'm really excited about is that when you buy photo paper but it comes double-sided. So my glossy photo paper, it's glossy on both sides. That means I can create double-sided patterned cardstock, which I'm so thrilled about because of course you can buy double-sided printed cardstock, but finding one where you've got one print on one side and a different print on the other, like that's actually not very easy. I can imagine using that to make really nice envelopes with a nice design on the inside as well on the outside, or you know, like gift boxes, just really helping to level up my crafting. So I'm really thrilled about that. So let's talk about my second point, which was the price. Now, this printer cost me £210 to buy here in the UK, and that put it at kind of the mid-range of prices of the printers that I was looking at. And if I were to try and go very much cheaper than that, I would end up losing the A3 borderless printing capability 
ability. And for me, that really was a deal breaker. I was not going to be considering printers that didn't have that option. So then any printers where I would be spending a lot more, the main difference would be the actual print quality. And there are printers out there, for example, the Canon Pixma Pro 100 and the Epson Surecolor P400, which have much higher printing quality. But those cost like £600 in that kind of region. And for me, Spending that additional £400 just, it didn't make sense because as I said, I'm not printing artwork for sale or for display. I'm doing it for my crafts. So I just didn't need that level of print quality. If you are looking for a printer where the print quality is the most overriding factor, then those are options to definitely go and explore. But if you are like me and it's more about your crafts and hobbies, and even if you are making things, you know, to sell on Etsy, I do think the print quality on this printer is really fab. But while we are talking about price, the other really major drawback back for this printer is the running costs and it's really important that I talk to you guys about that because depending on the way that you're using the printer it could be you know the overriding factor um, that helps drive your decision. The printer comes with five different color cartridges which is why you get a really nice print in terms of the vibrancy of the colors but of course then to replace those ink cartridges is expensive. At the moment on the Canon website you'll be spending at least £45 to get a replacement set of five ink cartridges so over the course of a year you could easily be spending 90 pounds on ink and so it would only be a couple of years before you spent more on ink than you have on the actual cost of the printer. Additionally if you want to get really good quality printing with this printer you have to be buying and using photo paper and let me tell you photo paper is expensive. Canon sells it for 28 pounds for 20 sheets so that is crazy. You can buy cheaper alternatives. Koala is a good one to look into. That's actually what I bought in the end. But nonetheless, the inks and the paper are a consumable that you are constantly going to need to replace when it comes to this printer. Now, given what I've told you, it probably sounds insane to have bought the printer. But the reason that I bought it anyway, knowing that it's this expensive to run, is I thought about the way that I'm going to be using the printer. And it's not actually my home office printer. I bought it specifically for my crafts. So I imagine I might use it maybe once a week, once every other week. I'm not going to be regularly printing on it every single day. So I don't see myself using up the inks and the photo paper as quickly as somebody else who does need it for more regular usage. Think about the way that you're going to be using this printer and if it makes sense for you to buy it given how expensive it is and how frequently you're going to be printing on it. And the third feature that I really love about this printer is the design. So as I mentioned a couple of times, I am a Cricut crafter. I love my Cricut machines and I've always been really impressed at the way that those machines are designed. They have all these beautiful sleek lines and the materials they're made of make it feel very luxurious to you. And whilst I wouldn't say the Canon printer feels luxurious you know the plastic it's made of is sort of it doesn't feel like it's particularly expensive or fancy plastic but nonetheless it, it is like nicely designed it's quite sleek I love the fact that it's white you know I have all these exposed shelves in the craft room so even if it might sound a bit ridiculous it was important to me that the printer I bought also looked nice in this space with everything else that I have here and I do love the way that it looks um, I will tell you though if you're not so fussed about the color of the printer just buy it in black it's got a slightly different model name, but it is a little bit cheaper. It does exactly the same thing. I've seen that one has been marketed as like a home office printer. And this one in white is specifically marketed as a crafter's printer. So read into that what you will, but nonetheless, they're the same thing. They do the same thing, borderless printing up to A3. So that can save you a little bit of money. There you have it. That is why I chose to buy the Canon Pixma TS9551C. I've actually learned the model name now, isn't that crazy? It was the fact that it prints borderless up to A3, the price and the design. And weighing all the positives against the high running cost and the print quality. For me, I'm really happy I made this choice. I'm happy with this printer. I can't wait to keep crafting with it and making really cool things. So I hope that what I've shared with you helps you to make a decision. But if you still have questions um, or there are features that I haven't talked about that you want me to test out for you then just let me know in the comments below um, and before you go I do have a playlist that I think you will love of tutorials that I have shared of crafts I've made using cardstock so please go check that out good luck with your printer purchase let me know what you decide in the end